I'm Bill Eberlein, and I'm a part-time instructor at Savannah Technical College, and I also am president of the Richmond Hill Rotary Club. Uh, but what I'm here to talk about today is my diving experiences in the local area for fossils. I mainly dive uh, in the Richmond Hill area, and I dive in, about, in the rivers in about 40 feet of water. Uh, the water is very dark and muddy. I have usually zero visibility. I dive mainly for megalodon shark teeth, but I'm also looking for other fossils from creatures that lived in the local area, scientists believe uh, millions of years ago. The way I got started in this is I was working at Gulfstream and met someone that was a diver there, and um, I asked him where he dove. I figured maybe he dove offshore for shipwrecks, and he said, no, I dive in the rivers for shark teeth. And I thought that was kind of ridiculous. I, I thought shark teeth, I was thinking that little tiny shark teeth. And then he showed me a megalodon tooth, and I thought, well, that'd be neat. I'd like to find just one of those. So I went along with him on a dive and found some, and right away I was hooked. And pretty much every weekend what I wanted to do was go diving um, in these muddy rivers and for fossils. And I just crawl along the bottom, and I dig with my hands, and, and basically I'm looking for a fossil bed, and the fossil bed will be full of all these fossilized bones. And you really can't identify what most of them are, but mixed in with those, I find the more interesting fossils like the megalodon teeth and then sometimes a mastodon or a mammoth tooth or some nice whale fossils like uh, whale vertebrae or whale teeth. But I do about 300 dives a year. I've been doing this for about 10 years and um, you know just never had a problem. The main fossil I'm looking for when I'm diving are megalodon shark teeth. Uh, this is a megalodon shark tooth. It is a fossil or a tooth from a giant prehistoric shark that would have been the size of a large whale today. So you think about the largest whales that are out there, they're actually shark teeth or sharks that were that big. And of course the shark teeth from them are, are very large. Uh, this is a huge tooth, but you think about rows of these and you can just imagine we'd be kind of like a french fry to this. Thing. And that's mainly what I'm looking for. It's the most collected fossil in the world. It's what people really want. 95% of what I sell are megalodon teeth. That's what people are always emailing me about. That's the thing people are most interested in. And that's, you know, mostly what I'm looking for. I collect a lot of these fossils and keep them for myself, but others I sell on my site, megateeth.com. There's a lot of articles uh, about the diving I do and the different things I encounter on the website. Uh, there's also a blog where I show my latest finds. Every day I'll pull out, you know, whatever I find that day I'll put out and take pictures of and kind of tell about the dive and what I found. Uh, and if you want to purchase a, a megalodon tooth, I have over 200 for sale on the website. I want to thank Richmond Hill Georgia Live for producing this video and I want to thank you for watching it. If you have any questions, my email address is bill at megateeth.com. You can also find that on the website, megateeth.com.